I'm John Franchak and I run the Perception Action and Development Lab at UCR. What we're most interested in is how do infants and how do children figure out where to look at the right time. Everything is happening really fast in all different directions and we can only choose one thing at a time to look at. Infants come into the world not knowing what, where to look. And so in one of our studies, we use a device called a desk mounted eye tracker. And that's a monitor that has a special set of cameras on the bottom that record infant's eyes to see exactly where in the video they're looking at from moment to moment. And then all we do is really just show them a bunch of different TV shows and music videos and we see do they look at more informative parts of the scene or do they look at um, places that are colorful or that have lots of fast um, motion. And what we found is that with age, infants are increasingly um, figuring out exactly which parts of a TV show are the most relevant, the most informative places to look. In the other context that we study visual attention, what we really want to know is how do they look at the real world? To measure eye movements in the real world, we need a device called a head-mounted eye tracker. This is a little bit more um, tricky to do because it means that we actually have to put a hat on the infants, we have to have them wear a band with a special set of cameras that um, move around and record their eye no matter which way they're facing. So to calibrate the eye tracker, we uh, show infants a board that has lots of little windows cut out and we show them toys in each of the windows to figure out um, what their eye looks like in the camera and how that matches up to where they're looking in the world. And then once we have the eye tracker calibrated, we're able to turn them around and show them different types of objects. So in the study we're doing right now, we show them different pictures of flowers and cups to see how they choose to turn their heads in different directions. We used to assume that what infants see in the world is just like what adults see. But really, infants are on the ground and parents are up there kind of out in their own world. And so the more studies we're able to do, um, putting head-mounted eye trackers on babies to see how they interact in the home, how they interact in the labs. We're going to learn so much about how infants and children experience the world from their own perspective. Thank you.